Hello my fellow Uber drivers, are you currently having problems with your Uber driver app not working and you want to be able to fix it? Well then this video is going to be perfect for you because actually me myself, I had the exact same problem before and I'm going to show you how I was able to fix it quite quickly. So actually what I did was that I firstly closed my Uber driver app completely. So just close it basically and then you're going to open up your settings app instead. So just go into your settings app because then you should be taken to this page right here as you can see which is perfect. So now just scroll down in here and then what you're going to do you're just going to click where it says general in here. So click on general. And as you can see, it should now take us to this page, which is great. So on this page, what you're going to do, you're just going to simply scroll down and then you're going to click where it says storage. So click on storage in here. And now you're just going to wait a couple of seconds for this page to completely load. And now when it's loaded, we're just going to scroll down in here and find the Uber driver app. So click on your Uber driver app. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to click on upload app in here. And then once again, click on upload app. Just wait a couple of seconds. And then what you're going to do, you're going to once again, click on this blue button here, as you can see. So I did this myself and I waited for it to completely load in here. And that means that you're now actually Get, getting the absolute latest update for your Uber driver app. So this is one way to quickly, potentially quickly fix this problem for you. So just wait for it to load and then go back into your Uber driver app and hopefully now it's fixed for you. If it still is not fixed for you, this might be due to either you having bad connection right now, but if you're watching this video right now and everything is okay, then probably it's not the connection fault to be honest. It might be that the app itself right now is currently having a problem. So even if you have the newest version, maybe they're experiencing some kind of like server thing or something like that with the app itself and it's not working for anybody. So you can just wait a couple of minutes and then try again and hopefully it will now be solved as well.